Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are here to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that is the biggest SBC that will be coming to FIFA Ultimate Team. I'm gonna say it, the biggest SBC in FIFA Ultimate Team history, confirmed by EA Sports uh, just a day ago, and that is this messy 96 rated player of the month SBC. Why am I saying this is the best, the biggest SBC in all of foot? We've never had an SBC for Messi. Messi is, for some people in this game, the ultimate goal. Some people play FIFA every year to get a Messi card or to get a special form of Messi in their club. And now, for the first time ever, there's going to be a Player of the Month version that you can do an SBC for. And they told us when it is coming out. So that's doing all sorts of things to the market right now. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that and how it pertains to this SBC and how you can possibly invest for player of the month, Messi. Now, there's going to be one general rule that I have to say about this. Um, all the market movements and all the pricing and everything like that, uh, it's going to be better to get in on stuff early, right? It makes sense, but it's really going to be important to get on stuff early. So I'm going to try to get this video out as soon as I can for you guys, uh, because as I'm recording this video, it is Saturday, 6 p.m. UK, and there were lightning rounds released today. I think they're gone now. Yeah, they're gone now, but we also got pack supply SBC. So there was a ton of supply on the market today. Probably a good time to pick up on some of those high rated golds that we're going to talk about today as well. But I want to talk about the SBC. Um, because I want to kind of give you guys a guideline for how much I do think this SBC is going to cost. I want to look at his special cards. Um, we've got this Messi as like 1.69 mil. He's like 1.7. And this new Messi is dropping a ton. This guy was 3 mil yesterday, first day. He's around 2.5, 2.6 right now, which is low. Low, low, low for a Messi card. And how good Messi is in this game, this card is very low. And that's important for how EA decides to um, value this SBC. I want to give us kind of like an example of what I think the SBC could look like. I've been saying this since they tweeted out that it's coming. I think this SBC is going to look like an icon SBC. It's probably going to contain so many parts. Like how many parts is this? Three, six, nine, 12, 14 different parts for the Root Hullet Prime Icon SBC in um, FIFA 19. Obviously for the Messi, you probably won't have like the humble beginnings and the rising talent in a world class or iconic. But I could definitely see a Messi SBC player of the month requiring around 10 squads because this card, I mean, this SBC is probably going to cost you, I think this price range, you can't really see it, it's over here. But I think somewhere in like the, uh, I don't think 3 million is too crazy high. I really don't think it is. Somewhere in like the 2.5 to 3 million range could be the price of this SBC, but it's going to be out for 30 days. So that's why I mentioned it being like an icon SBC. Um, because it's going to be out for so long. People are going to be putting a month's worth of time trying to grind this SBC, uh, and it's going to keep... You know how we have the high rateds kind of staying up right now because of the base icon upgrade? This SBC is going to do that with high rated cards as well, and it's even heading right into Footmas, so that's very interesting timing by EA. But yeah, I think they're going to require a lot of high-rated squads. They will not require an icon, and I wanted to bring this up for you guys right here. Icons will not be used in as requirements in SBCs. Um, I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that because I've heard some people talking about could they require an icon. Unless, e uh, unless EA goes back on their word, um, icons will not be required in SBCs at all because that's what they said in their icon pitch notes this year. And I don't think that this requires or just pertains to icon SBCs because it says icons will not be used as requirements in SBCs. If they said in icon SBCs, then I would say there's a possibility. But the way that looks, I'm not seeing any icons being required for this SBC. So what is going to be required? A lot of high rated gold squads like this, a lot of informs, and I think that's going to be it, man. I really just think it's going to be high rated squads, high rated informs. Um, maybe they'll come up with some other crazy thing to put in there. Um, but I honestly think you're just going to have to get so many high rateds and turn them in, so many informs and turn them in. I don't know what else they can uh, require. They can't require a scream card. Those cards are so rare on the market. They can't really require a team of the group stage card because what card are you going to put in? You're going to maybe do Taliso, Ziyech, uh, and Holland. Like, or Bruno Fernandez, there's not enough supply there of cards for them to say, hey, we want to use these as an SBC requirement. Now, I guess you could put your tinfoil hat on for really quick and say there there is a possibility they could require these cards, like one team of the tournament player. 
uh, in some of the SBCs because some of these guys are pretty low and they supply these cards so much that they're going to have enough supply in my eyes to possibly be um, uh, a part of the SBC. But uh, that would be a far out shot in my opinion. I really just think that it's going to require a lot of high rated cards and a lot of high rated informs. And we're going to look at all those prices today and start talking about that kind of stuff um in just a second as well now as i mentioned the ea dropped a lot of supply today on saturday so getting cards in your club sooner rather than later is going to be big time beneficial for you because if you think about it this way oh man thomas muller thomas muller is up in price right now i think a lot of people were told to buy during these lightning rounds uh that are currently going on right now thomas muller is 14 or 15k he was 14k before the lightning rounds. Has anybody else moved? Let's go over here and flip in and check some of this. Uh, let's look at the 88s and 89s. Allison, who is an 80. Uh, where's he at? Where is he at? Allison, he's 89 rated. An 89 rated Allison right here is costing you at the moment right around 39k. So some of these have dropped a little bit. Um, I still think there's going to be an opportunity to pick these up, but you're going to want to get them sooner rather than later because. For the rest of this entire week, you're going to see stuff like this trickle upwards in value when we have less supply. We don't have the lightning rounds on the weekends. And everybody sells off their weekend league teams and goes and starts to invest for this SBC because there's going to be tons and tons of people. It's it's honestly so hard to fathom how many people are going to get ready for this SBC um, just because this SBC is something crazy that we've never had before. And it's messy. It's a messy SBC. Now, it's going to be expensive, again, like I said. So I think you're going to really have to stock the club. You're going to need a lot of these cards. Um, and if you're somebody who's trying to prepare for this SBC and you really, really, really want to do it, I would tell you, you might have to look to those other versions of the cards to actually buy uh, if, you can, if you can afford that. But we'll talk about this first. Investing in some of the cards. 84s are pretty low, like three, 4,000 coins for those. I think you need to get everything in your club from 83s all the way up to 90s. Literally, you need to stock your club with everything and buy yourself an Oblock as well. Um, but Ter Stegen is out of packs right now. The cheapest 90 rated card, Modric, is 54K. Um, look at the footprint graphs for the 90s. I would love to say 50K is a good price. Uh, for the 89s, if it's under, these cards could easily be 45,000 coins later on this week um, with um, people starting to invest in these for Messi. Uh, so these around like 37K, I think is a good price. 88s around like 28, 27-ish is decent. The 87s around 21 or 22K for most of them is actually solid. And then the 86s for like 14K or 15K for some of the center backs and some of the better linking cards is pretty solid as well. 85s for like 7 to 8k you know the 83s and to 85s and even 86s right now and a few 87s they're not at bad prices uh, but i would really try to get these guys on bid because i think they're going to go up in the week as people start to invest in some of these cards i'm going to also look at informs because i think just about every squad is probably going to require informs so I want to look at some of these higher rated informs. You know, you're probably not going to need a ton of chemistry. I know a lot of people that are investing in Canales and Aspas. Um, looking back through some of these team of the weeks, um, some of the cards that could go up the most are going to be from team of the weeks that were very rare. Uh, Lukaku is one inform for me that if you can get this on a low bid, like around 21 or 22K, I mean, he's 23 right now. He's one of the cheapest 86 rated informs. He was 27K. Um just if, like recently so that this could be a really good card to buy team of the week number eight um was a very rare team of the week did not get packed a lot so when you're looking through some of these informs to buy and even if you're, if you, if you're just investing in this sbc because you want to make coins and sell into the hype um then you can do some of this too but look through these you can on this page right here it's the um click the sbc logo cheapest players by rating click on gold inform and apply filters if you're on desktop and you can scroll down here and look through all the gold informs and their cheapest right now. So like uh, Sillison would probably be a decent investment as a La Liga goalkeeper, 18K. What I would do with a lot of this stuff is just stock one. Stock one card. Um, and that would be probably good for my liking. Some 85s, definitely get some 86s. Shoot, you might as well even try to pick up like a Navas inform if you really can. Um, one of these two versions of Navas. Uh, maybe a Mobile or a Pjanic or, you know, some of those. Um, but really, I would say probably pick up a an Aspas and a Canales for the Spanish links that you might need for these SBCs. But those are going to be the most invested in informs. Other than that, make sure you just look through this cheapest informs list. And a lot of these cards late at night 
you can get really good bids on them because uh, not as many people are looking at them yet. There's going to be more and more people looking at them throughout the week this week. So try to get some of these cards on bid if you can. 84 rated informs, 83s, 85s, literally all of them. And make sure you pay attention to what team of the week they are from. And basically, dudes, you're just going to have to stock your clubs with like all of the high rated cards, all of the high rated informs that you possibly can chuck the club full of cards like that and you're probably still not going to have enough if you're really good want to go all in on this i would buy like fill up your transfer list as well with different ones that you could use in multiple sbcs because again if we look at this like an icon sbc it's probably going to cost somewhere around like 2.5 to 3 million and it's going to have you know at least i would say five like five seems too low for me man how are they going to get two million yeah, there's no way they get 2 million coins worth of an SBC out of five different challenges. So it's probably going to be, I would say, seven or more challenges um, for this SBC. So be very, very careful with that. And I would also urge you guys, if you are wanting to get messy in your team, watch the prices of these new cards in the game. His Inform, which was in Best of Team of the Week, has got Panic sold a bunch. It's down a ton. And this new Team of the Group Stage card... Um, with a pretty nice stat upgrade, to be honest. Plus ones, plus two pace, plus two pace and plus two physical on a 95 to 96 is a really solid upgrade in my opinion. So watch these cards really closely. They're probably gonna, the, the group stage Messi is gonna get lower and lower, which is gonna push down the inform Messi, Messi lower and lower um, into the end of this week. And even if you're a guy who doesn't have a ton of coins like me, maybe you've got one five and you're like, yo, I, tr I really wanna get this Messi. I will go broke for this Messi. I would say I wouldn't do it. I don't think that I would really do it because there's so much hype for this SBC. Uh, you might as well just go buy the gold card. And uh, because a lot of these informs and his gold card and all of his items could possibly shoot back up in price if that SBC is very expensive. But you're going to have people that are saying, instead of paying 2.5 million for the blue card, I'm going to go do the SBC for 3 million because I get like 400,000 coins of pack value back. That's one way to look at it because this SBC will be coming out when Team of the Group Stage is still in packs. That's why I've been telling a lot of people if you want to buy Team of the Group Stage cards, you're going to want to wait to buy those until Thursday after the SBC comes out and, and during rewards because there's going to be a lot of supply on those cards during that time frame. Um, but if you guys are really considering doing this messy card, stock your club with the high rated golds, stock your club with the high rated informs. I don't think they're going to require Messi's gold card because that again would just not have enough supply and sustainability on this market for them to actually require it. Um, but that would be a really easy way to get, you know, uh, the, I mean, Messi's gold card, if, if they require Messi's gold card, he's 1.36, 1.37 right now. This card could easily go to like 1.7, 1.8, almost 2 million coins. And that, that would be almost all of the SBC. And then you're turning in, you're paying 2 million for this Messi SBC, if you're like for this card. I don't know, man. I, I think that's going to be crazy. Now, people think there's not enough coins in this game for this market to be able to do a Messi SBC like this. Um, and by the way, EA Sports, if those prime icons last year were above the threshold, the primer icons, how close is this SBC getting to the threshold? That's I'm going to be really curious to see. They said that those SBCs were above the threshold. I want to see what they value this card at because if there was no messy SBC that was looming on the horizon, I think this card would still be over 3 million coins. I think this messy team of the group stage card would be like 3 to 3.2, 3.3 million if there was no um, messy SBC out because this card right here would still be over 2 million, even though it was 2 million coins after best of team of the week. But I mean, with the, just the fact that the SBC is coming and this new card coming out, you've seen this card drop off. And again, if you're somebody who just wants messy in your team, watch the gold card, watch the inform and watch this team of the group stage, because, um, these cards are probably going to have some sort of rebound regardless of the price of Messi, unless they come out and they drop a Messi SBC under 2 million coins and like the market like just dies. Like literally that would be probably the biggest market death ever. That'd be like a crash, death, burn, done, over. I mean, even some of the card prices right now are ridiculous, but that would just change the game. That would, we would be like, It'd be like the uh, the World Cup crash, like the what, the World Cup mode crash. That's what it'd probably feel like. A thirty thousand coin Vardy SBC can crash the market like fifteen percent on one day. What could a one point five million Messi Player of the Month SBC do? 
I think it could do just that and or more because people with over a million coins, people with a million coins can grind up to that SBC over 30 days. So that would be a crazy, crazy thing if they did that. The biggest thing that we have to look forward to, boys, is Thursday, okay? I think I'm done talking about this SBC now because uh, it, it's just insane, man. It's hovering over this market. It's making everything go down. Everybody is hesitant. People are selling to invest in this. And that's why I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible so that you can get ahead of the curve, possibly make some investments. And if you want to take the safe route, sell into the hype on before Thursday, okay? Sell into the hype before Thursday if you want to take the safe route. I bet that a lot of high-rated informs, a lot of high-rated gold cards are going to be um, going up in price until then with people investing in those cards for this SBC. So sell into the hype and you can take your profit and run away if this card does not interest you at all then you don't have to worry about the SBC price. So that's definitely what I would do on some of these investments if you're just looking to make coins. But if you're looking to do this SBC, then uh, you're going to hold those cards and hope that EA puts out um, a sort of good value SBC and uh, hopefully that you prepared for it in the correct way and that they didn't, uh, you know, pull any strings or anything like that. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Smash a thumbs up. Thank you for hitting that button. And of course, comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Biggest SBC in foot history coming this week. Messi, player of the month. It's been Nate, foot accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.